Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I will be crocheting it forward in this video by showing you the continuous join for our heart granny squares. In my previous video, I showed you how to make your um, 3D effect heart, lifted heart, and then also um, two rounds of granny square pattern around. I did an extra one and then I chose my gray for my joining color. So I'm going to need you to, to do that in order to move forward with this video. But along with the materials that were needed for the first video, I'm going to review my attaching yarn, whatever color you're going to attach with. This is still worsted weight, mainstays from Walmart, some scissors, my crochet hook, 6.0 millimeter size J, a smaller crochet hook for my ends, and then I also have a large sewing needle for my ends. So if you want to gather those up, um, get your squares uh, how you want them in your blanket or your piece project, whatever you're going to be making with this, and then meet me back. Okay, so we are back, and I have this one finished. So I'm going to show you how to attach um, the, uh, the second square to the first one. But I also wanted to review, review with you real quick how we're going to do this continuous join if you're not familiar with it. So basically we have this first square done right here and then we're going to attach all of our other squares. Um, but we're only going to be doing the double crochets in the attaching square because this one is always done. This is the foundation. It's the first piece. And what we're doing is we're matching the spaces. And in this square, the first square, we're only slip, we're only putting a slip knot to, to join that in these spaces because there's already the, the set of three double crochet there. And then we're coming back and working our outside um, round with the attaching square, if that makes sense. So let's get started. I have a square here already and I'm gonna attach this one. So I'm gonna turn them sideways and you'll want to finish your rows um, all the way down from right to left, okay? So we're gonna attach And I'm going to attach, you always want to attach in the corner, the lower right hand corner. And then we're going to chain three, single crochet in that second chain from your hook. Sometimes pressing on that middle finger will help you get both of those loops. Go back into your chain two space and finish your first set of three double crochet. Okay, we're going to always do our first chain in our attaching square. We're going to go into our first square, into the corner, take our hook and go in the front, out the back, attach our yarn, pull through. We're going to chain one because now we've finished that corner and come back to your attaching square and do your three double crochet to finish up that corner. Okay, so then we're going to go into the next space from our first square and take our hook and go in the front, out the back, attach our yarn, pull through, and then go to our next space right across from it in the attaching square, yarn over, and then do our set of three double crochets. One, two, three. And that's all you're doing all the way down. If you can remember to take your hook and go in the front, out the back, attach our yarn, yarn over, go back into your square and finish your three double crochet. Okay, next space, take our hook, go in the front, out the back, Grab our yarn, pull through, yarn over, go into our next space on the attaching square and do our first double crochet and then com complete your second two, your second and third double crochet. In the front, out the back, grab our yarn, pull through, yarn over, and then back into the attaching square to finish our three double crochet. 
I'm going to take a little, getting used to, um, with the wiggling of the, the pieces, but you'll get used to it. So again, in the front, out the back, grab our yarn, pull through, yarn over, and then do our first set of three double crochets in our corner. And then for every corner, we're going to always chain one in your attaching square. Then we're going to go into the first square and take our hook, go through the chain two space, grab our yarn, pull through, make that second chain for your corner, and then go back to your attaching square and finish that corner. So for the first row, all of these are going to be just like that. Okay? And then now you see that we're, we've attached, we've matched each set of three double crochets even the corners okay so we're going to finish and go all the way around and then you're going to do your whole row your front row so i will hurry up and do that on my own and you can too you can stop the video fast forward the video it's up to you so i'm going to go kind of fast so i can show you how to attach um in the other ways So yeah, the continuous join. You know, I've seen videos and they have a join as you go. Um, to me, I mean, they're kind of the same thing. You're still join as you go. I think maybe they refer to that as you're creating a whole other square, maybe joining as you go. And this continuous join kind of goes once you get going it just continues so maybe that's the difference i'm not sure um but yeah i know how to do both of them i'm gonna do a video on uh the continue the join as you go with the c2c blacks i'm pretty excited about that it's just you know a different different creative ways of crocheting pieces you know mostly off of graphs i love to do some graphs they take a lot of time take a lot of patience it can be very tedious sometimes sometimes i'll start them and then i'll i'll leave them and then work on another project it just depends what i have going on so yeah i'm sure i'm not different than anybody else i have about mm, 30 whips in my craft room and for those of you that do not know what a whip is, that is a WIP. Those are our lovely works in progress. And I like to think I have a little adult ADD going on there because <laughs> I just lose attention. I do, I get bored with stuff real quick. And then I'm like, oh, I'll get a hair up my neck and be like yo where is that one project let me pull that out okay so we're back to the beginning and what I've done is I've gone into my slip stitch and grabbed a loop and we're just I mean uh, the single crochet and did a slip stitch there you go and now we're just detaching okay I want to show you how to um attach a yarn attach a square this way um, and what i really want to point out is you'll always want to attach when anytime that you have and there's going to be a time when you're going to have a square here so if you can just remember that you always want to attach in the furthest square from the square that you're working on that you're attaching it's always going to be diagonal. It's always going to be that one because the squares next to this square are not the furthest. They're in fact the closest. So if you want to take your hook and go like that, yep, that's that's the chain two space I need to go in because it'll get confusing when you have four chain two two spaces. You're like, which one should I attach? And in order for you not to have a big gap there, you're going to have to 
go to the furthest one. So when I do this one, I'm going to go that. I'm going to go into this square. When I come and attach this square, I'm going to attach into this one because it's the one diagonal. Not right next to me, but diagonal. If you can try to remember that, that'll save you a lot of headaches and a lot of frogging any projects. And I am not a fan of frogging projects. So sometimes you might need to, in fact, you probably will need to turn your work. You want all your hearts to be facing the right direction. You don't want, there's nothing worse than having to finish doing a round or something and then realize that you got your square upside down or something. So be sure, double check that they're all going the right way. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and attach up here on top. Chain three, single crochet, two, three, ch chain one, and then this is where we attach into our corner, grab our yarn, pull through, make that second chain for the corner and go back to your working square. Okay, and then we're just repeating what we've been doing. We're matching up, we're going right into the next space, grabbing our yarn, pulling through for a slip knot, going back to our working square, and then making our three double crochets. Back into the neighboring one, in the front, out the back, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, and then back to your working square to do your three double crochets. Chain one. In the front, out the back, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, and then back to your square. Do I have some ends too, to sew in? But that's with any project. I think with this, with this continuous join, it's like you're killing two two birds with one stone. You know, you're doing that final border, you know, on each square, and then in the process, you're attaching it. So it's pretty cool. Makes your projects go quicker. Okay, now we're back into our corner here for our third square, and we're gonna do our three double crochets. As normal we are going to chain one and then here's where I said the diagonal one so this square the chain two is where I'm going to go in and attach that's my square I'm looking for so finish that corner with that second chain because you'll always finish your corner with the second chain after you pull after you attach into your square and then from here we're just going to work down the side and I'm going to go ahead and do this a little fast so I can show you okay so your second row is going to go all the way down and then that's exactly how you keep attaching. Just one row on top of each other. Okay? Um, when you come to this square, you're going to attach to that one. Let me go ahead and show you that. I don't want to confuse anybody or leave anybody hanging. Because uh, when you get to attaching your fourth square, it can be like, oh my god, which one? Because I know you know, I got confused too. You know, the funny thing about projects with me, I don't know about anybody else, but, you know, there's times where I've only done one, one pattern one time just to be able to do it and just to prove to myself that I can because I'm just not a quitter. You know, I'll get frustrated with it and I'll leave it alone and then a couple weeks, even a couple months, I'll come back to it, uh, maybe look up some different videos. I don't read patterns very well. Um, I'm a visual learner, so this is why 
I'm always making YouTube videos. At some point, I would like to get my patterns on Etsy. I've had so many people ask me about that. I just don't know how to write them. I mean, I can watch a video and, and make my own um, pattern, write down my own pattern, but it's in my own speed writing crochet. Like, <laughs> I don't think anybody would understand that. And I know that there's like a general standard lingo that they use. I don't know, that's something I might visit later on. But I'm certainly a visual learner and I'm all about videos. And, you know, we all learn differently. There's no right or wrong. That's what makes us so unique. But yeah, it'd be nice to get them on there. You know, some people don't learn by, by visual, you know, visualizing like me and I feel like I'm just selling them short and I don't I don't like that I if I share for free patterns I want everybody to know how to do them so I'm definitely looking into that okay so now I'm back to the beginning I'm gonna slip stitch in the top of that single crochet just like before chain one yarn okay now I'm gonna grab my other and then we will come into that fourth join so we can wrap this up i decided i'm just going to do um my solids in the outside alternating colors like this i'm going to alternate a solid cream and a solid red all around for the border and then not for the border but just an outside um round and then i'm going to do some kind of border not sure okay so again we're going to attach like we've been attaching in our corner lower right hand corner make sure our hearts are facing the right way and we're going to chain three single crochet in that second chain from your hook two double crochets we want to chain one and then here we go attach it as we have been Grab our yarn, pull through, do that second chain for our corner, and come back to the uh, working square or attaching square and finish our three double crochets. Okay, so again, we're just going to go in and out of the spaces. That's it. And if we can remember to go in the square that's already done, you're just doing a slip knot with that one that is it and then the unfinished square um, is where you're going to come back and finish that border to not border but the last round the attaching yarn color so again we're just going into this square and doing a slip that's it then we're coming back here and finishing the double crochet i mean the granny stitch pattern well, our three double crochets, which is the granny stitch pattern. So, moving right along, we're just going right across from each other, not missing a beat. Okay, three double crochets. Okay, back in here. Whoops, grabbed part of that red slip and then here's where we're doing our fourth this is where you're going to have the instance where you're going to have all you're going to be surrounded by squares you're going to have one on each side and the one diagonal and of course that's the rule of thumb you always want to attach to the one diagonal if you have it now if you're doing a a row you're not going to have a diagonal one. a straight across row so again we just want to chain one and this is the furthest square from my hook. So I'm going to go into that chain two space and slip, chain one, and then go back here and finish that corner with three double crochets. Okay. And then that sets you up for the side. Go into our next space, grab our yarn, pull through, yarn over. 
and then into your working square. Okay. Okay. So now in the corner, you have all four corners meeting up together, matching perfectly. It's just such a fun, neat, crisp, very professional join. And I love it. The continuous join. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Again, you want to finish your rows this way. This is the top of your afghan going down. If you want, you can work it going up. You can work it side to side. It really doesn't matter. It's whatever you're comfortable with. If you need to watch the video a couple times, you can do that too. Um, I just want to thank everybody for watching and for your patience. And by all means, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be starting a granny square series that's going to be fun. I have some emojis, grannies that I'm going to make. I have minions. I have a cookie monster. I have a cupcake. I have a lot of patterns that I have not shared. So be on the lookout for that. Again, tag somebody. Um, share the video. Again, together, let's continue to crochet it forward. Bye now.